In 1944, a groundbreaking event occurred in the realm of air combat. As the first combat jet fighter graced the skies, heralding a new era that filled Allied pilots with fear. What was that? What the hell was that? It went by like we were standing still. Blue leader to group. Get off the air. Going by at 2 o'clock. What the hell is it? This aircraft, free from traditional propellers, soared past them, unleashing havoc upon their fighters and bombers with its formidable cannons. This video offers insight into the highest scoring Mi-262 of World War II, delving into the devastation he caused in the skies of Europe, particularly for American pilots flying the iconic P-51 Mustang. As the Allied forces closed in on Germany from all sides, the Luftwaffe desperately sought a spectacular means to fend off the relentless air attacks piercing deeper into the Rhineland. The BF-109s and Fokker-Wolf 190s were commendable, but their dwindling pilots and resources necessitated a secret weapon to turn the tide of war. Enter the Messerschmitt Mi-262, the first combat-ready jet fighter. Though the Mi-262 came too late to alter Germany's fate, a handful of Luftwaffe pilots excelled in this futuristic aircraft, wreaking havoc among Allied fighters and bombers. These select few instilled fear in the minds of their adversaries, as they confronted an entirely novel kind of opponent. Determining the top jet ace is challenging due to limited record keeping during that time. However, based on historians' notes and combat records, we have endeavored to spotlight the highest scoring Messerschmitt Mi 262 ace, Franz Shaw, and retrace his remarkable story. Born in 1918 in Austria Hungary, Franz Shaw joined the Luftwaffe during the early stages of World War II. At the age of 23, he saw his first combat on the Eastern Front during the Battle of Kursk. His journey to becoming a distinguished ace commenced in May 1943 when he shot down two Soviet Le 5 fighters while flying the BF-109. His prowess expanded, and he consistently decimated enemy fighters across the front, boasting particularly high counts of IL-2 and P-39. Within a year, Shaw's tally surpassed 50 kills, propelling him up the ranks of German aces. Amid the fighting across Poland in the late summer of 1944, Shaw experienced his most prolific period of combat surpassing 100 total kills in the war. Notably, on August 26, he achieved an exceptional feat, downing 11 enemy aircraft in a single day, an uncommon double ace accomplishment. Five days later, on August 31, he added 13 more kills to his tally, with 20 of them being the famed Soviet IL-2 Sturmovik. His success cemented his reputation as one of the Luftwaffe's best pilots. As recognition of his achievements grew, Shaw was assigned to Commando Navadny, a newly formed specialist unit tasked with testing and refining tactics for the Mi-262 jet fighter. The German commanders hoped this secret weapon would tilt the scales in their favor, as the Allies outnumbered the Luftwaffe. During his time with Commando Navadny, the attrition rate for the Mi-262 was high, and many pilots struggled to master the new aircraft. Despite this, Shaw demonstrated that the Mi-262 could be deadly in skilled hands, offering hope for its potential effectiveness. After learning to fly the Mi-262 in just a few weeks, Shaw engaged in his first combat. In early October 1944, accompanied by a wingman, he intercepted a large bomber formation and claimed victories by destroying two B-24 Liberators. These victories were credited to Commando Novotny, bolstering the unit's prestige. However, Shaw soon discovered that his favorite targets while flying the Mi-262 were American fighters rather than four-engine bombers. In October 1944, he achieved his first victories against the P-51 Mustangs, and his reputation as an ace in the Mi-262 began to take shape. On November 8, Shaw scored three more kills against American P-51s earning him the title of ace in the Mi-262 and making him one of the first pilots to achieve this distinction. Tragically, after claiming his third Mustang, engine failure rendered him vulnerable to American fighters, resulting in his Mi-262 shot down during a glide attempt to return to a friendly airbase. Shaw survived the incident but was captured by friendly forces. Following this incident, Commando Novotny faced a devastating blow when their group leader, Walter Novotny, was shot down and killed on the same day. Despite the setback, Shaw's successes continued as he joined a new unit in March 1945, leading them to numerous victories. By this time, German forces were nearing surrender, and Shaw's fate seemed intertwined with the war's conclusion. On April 10, 1945, Shaw engaged in a dogfight once again, claiming his 12th and final P-51 Mustang kill. Tragically, during this encounter, his Mi-262 experienced either damage from the dogfight or engine failure, forcing him to attempt an emergency landing at an unfamiliar airbase that had been heavily bombed by American forces. Regrettably, his aircraft crashed during the landing attempt, leading to his untimely demise. After his career, Franz Shaw's kill tally stood at an impressive 137 Allied aircraft destroyed, including 18 victories while flying the Mi-262. This remarkable achievement made him the highest-scoring German ace in the Messerschmitt Mi-262. 
The surrender of German forces occurred less than a month after his death, bringing an end to the war. Shaw's legacy endured as one of the most successful jet aces, leaving a lasting mark on the history of air combat.